Hello, 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 everybody, and a very happy Sunday to all of you. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day, or maybe if you're a little further to the east than me, I hope you have been enjoying your Sunday. We're back again. Uh, we had a fun Mom After Dark stream last night. It was a blast. I think everybody had a good time. Uh, we got one, not one, but two zombie villagers, which means we now have a village, and we're very excited about that. Yay! And congratulations to Tobinator on claiming first today. Well done. Canadian Bacon Gaming, love to have you in the chat. Welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Um, how did the rest of your stream go last night? I kind of had to dip out pretty quick after the raid because I was exhausted <laughs> and like was so ready for bed. Um, but that Power World you were playing, that looks interesting. It's a little complicated to me. It's like a combination of Minecraft, Ark, and Pokemon. So it's very odd. And I'm, I, I'm not sure if I, if I like it. <laughs> Stayed up too late doing pointless things in Power World. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty. So I would like to jump right into the game today because I'm a little limited on time. I have, I have two hours and we're starting late. So um, I want to get us right into the game so we can start doing the stuff. We have some farming to do. We have to get that iron farm up and going. So hopefully our villagers start growing up quickly and breeding so we can do that. Um, in order to help them out with that, we need a farm for our carrots and our beets so we can give them some more food. Uh, right now we don't have much at all. I think I have literally one stack of carrots and no beets to my name. So that's not good. Uh, why do I see? I saw I saw a block entity over there. What, what just happened? Hold up. Inside the farm here, I just saw a a something what what's happening hold on i see i see kids we have kids on the bed oh we have four villagers oh sweet okay so we're good uh we literally just need like one more i don't know what was there that like we i saw a block but okay well that that's my block uh yes yeah, so i have no idea what that was but there was a block on the screen here and i i'm, I'm a little confused and concerned anyway so we're going to take the kitty cat. We need to go find a spot for our farms. And I'm thinking it would make sense to put all of our, our crop farms kind of out over this way since we've got our sugar cane and our melon and our pumpkin farm over here. Uh, I think just sticking with that general area would be solid. Um, let's see. I'm going to come kind of right, right over here. It's not going to be even. This is a very hodgepodge little world and I'm actually okay with it. I know that sounds weird because it's me and hello, we know about my OCD. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. Um, oh, I have glazed terracotta uh, cooking right now. So I'm thinking we're going to do a combination of some glazed, terra glazed terracotta, um, the orange stuff, uh, polished diorite, and uh, maybe some warped block. And so yeah, I think this is about where we're going to put it right here. We've got not much in our inventory at the moment because we're waiting for that glazed terracotta to cook. So let me pop back over and see if we've got it. We can get our warp block too, and we can get that started. But yeah, I'm like rushing, rushing, rushing this morning. Uh, I got up really early, actually. I was up at like 4.30 this morning, I think it was, and was kind of just up and going. Not, not off to a super fast start, but then just had like life stuff to take care of. And so I, I finally was like, okay, I, I need to get some stuff done here. So... I did. I got up and got going, but I definitely did not um, did not get productive early enough today. So that's why I was like, um, "Yeah, stream's gonna be a little late." Just so you guys know. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what do we got here for the quartz? So we can do. I like the idea of doing quartz brick. I think that'll look kind of cool. And then we've got polished diorite, maybe for something. I'm not sure. We'll we'll, we'll figure that out. But for right now, for sure, we're gonna use the warped, and we're gonna use our. Uh, orange glazed terracotta as like accent blocks. What else could we do? Because uh, there's white on there, white, orange, and that. So, I mean, we could do like solid orange blocks and then some of the glazed to accent. That would look kind of cool. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, we are like a fraction of an inch to our level 30 enchant. Uh, villagers, could you maybe trade something with me? That would be awesome. If we could do like a trade, I could get to level 30 and then we could go enchant this thing. Uh, we'll put the dirt right here for the moment. Uh, Melon Man, where are you? Hello, Golem. I think we're going to make a platform for the Golems around the outside so that way they don't try to kill us. Uh, I'm going to end up dropping stuff. Don't don't take those melons. Those are my melons. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm coming through. Do you mind? Those are my melons. Do not do not use those melons. Thank you. What else you got? Um, hey. Ooh. 
One for three. Okay, yes, we're gonna buy a bunch of golden carrots because food. Food is good. Uh, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna buy a bunch of golden carrots from this guy. Where'd you go? Come here. Carrots. Yes. 45 carrots. That is awesome. A few more levels. Always good. I want to save some of those just in case we find that wandering trader. Kind of need him. All right. Boat is over here with the kitty cat. All right, kitty, let's go. We're going to go to the location. We're going to start building this platform because we need a farm. We desperately need a farm. Um, I need I need a good size farm for our crops here. None of this like three, you know, like one row of blocks kind of thing here. Uh, let me get out to the central-ish area. Yeah, right about here. All right, and we're going to just drop right down. It is a long way down. What I wouldn't give for some respiration and some depth strider. Which hopefully once we get our uh, our uh, toolsmith and our armor and all them leveled up, hopefully then we'll get it. We've gotten our, our, uh, our armor smith up to, I think, like second tier trade. But we've got a long way to go. So we're going to work on that. But here is our first thing. Our, our center block, there we go. Um, Kitty, you're gonna have to move though. You're kind of in a bad spot. Kitty's gonna go like out here and then I'll just swim for it. Ugh, I keep lagging in the boats. I don't know what it is with the boat lag, but I could do without. But Star, welcome in my friend. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. So glad to have you in the chat. We're working on doing our, um, our uh, carrot and beet farm here. Uh, building some fun stuff around and let's see how do we want to do this so I'm thinking we're gonna do like a quartz center like so and then we'll do um, I'm thinking we're gonna kind of come out like this and have kind of like quadrant blocks so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so there's nine there's one two three four five six seven eight and nine there we go okay beautiful and then we can just fill this in and we'll have a nice block in the center that we don't actually fill in because we're gonna make this easy on ourselves two three oh my gosh i like crouch and move so slow <laughs> three four five six seven eight nine okay i don't know if deep dark spawns in this world honestly that's one thing i didn't check on that map but i don't think deep dark is going to spawn here because it is only a single biome world so we might be just out of luck on getting uh any like swift sneak or anything bummer i'm sad now <laughs> so to everybody who maybe did not tune in for the mom after dark stream how's your weekend going Today is Sunday, so it's self-care Sunday. If you'd like to share what your version of self-care is going to be today, I would love to hear it. And let me see, I need, so here's one, two, three, four, five, there we go. Oh, seriously, that is my block. Give me my block back. I need all of the dirt blocks. It's like a precious commodity in this world because I can't be bothered to go get it. All right, there we go. And then we'll get some more here, lovely. Okay, and then we'll continue on with the next one. Uh, Self-care is tiling a backsplash. Well, that sounds riveting. <laughs> yeah, Sunday is definitely a project day in our house, too, so I can empathize with that. Oh, 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 I fall. I fall. I need, like, a little bit more space. There we go. Give. Thank you. Um, let's see. It's been a long weekend. We've got D&D &D today, though, so hopefully that goes well. Yes, I know you guys have D&D. &D. That's always a nice way to kind of round out the weekend, so that's fun. Uh, Self-care is hopefully going to bed before 4 a.m. tonight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, as fun as it is to, to embrace the darkness, <laughs> sleep is also nice. Tovenator is going for a run and work. Good self-care. Uh, good to kind of get those endorphins going before you head into work for the day. And Trey the Nerd, welcome in. Glad to have you. Hope you're doing well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Okay, here we go. And then across. So yeah, what we're doing here, we're doing a big um, grid shape. Um, we're going to have a, a, a farm on each side of our central platform here. 
And then we're gonna do some sort of design. I'm not sure what yet. Basically where I think we're gonna come out like this and we'll have like this center walkway with this really pretty white um, quartz brick that we'll go around with because we have a fair bit of quartz. So why not? And then I'm thinking we can take our glazed terracotta kind of right through the center and just do like a little strip pattern like that. Like so, I think that's kind of cute. I don't know if it'll stay like that, but that is kind of cute and I kind of like it. So I think we'll, we'll do something like this. And let's go ahead and bring this back. Attempting to not just fall into the water because my impulse control is minimal. For me today, self-care was getting up and going uh, and getting on the treadmill, even though I kind of didn't want to. I'm like, nope, I'm going to do it. And I actually kicked my own butt in the workout today, which was actually really nice. Uh, I did a, a, a nice uh, brisk incline walk. So I put the incline up to like two and a half and then walked really, really fast. So that was actually really nice. Got the heart rate pumping. Um, definitely, definitely was feeling that by the time I was all said and done. <clears throat> and let's see here. Morning. Hmm, I need to get this old, horribly chipped nail polish off and replace it. Maybe that counts. Hey, you know what? It absolutely does count. Uh, a little nail self-care is self-care, however you look at it. So I, I say, yeah, absolutely. And on that note, I need to get myself a little manicure today. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Oh, oh, we got flames. We have flames. That means it's working. All right. First checkbox of the day. We have a working iron farm. Yes. Uh, I hooked up the bike and a TV next to my PC last night so I can game and bike. You know, that's actually a genius idea. And I applaud that. All right, kitty, come on. We got to go to the iron farm. We got to go check this out. I am super jazzed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can't actually open this up yet. Eh, thank you. Uh, we can't open it up because we do still have children. But as soon as these two children grow up, we can open this and we can have it... Um, <gasps> bye, fire. Yes. <clears throat> we can open it up and we can do um, uh, a zombie walking around, which will increase our rates exponentially. I am so excited. We have a working iron farm. Awesome. Alrighty, so we need, I have some stone hose in here. Where are they? Tools, yep, right here. So we need this for our farm. I don't think I'm gonna need, I don't think I'm gonna do the polished diorite. I was going to originally and I'm like, mm, I really like the quartz. I think the quartz is gonna be the way to go. So what else have we got here? We've got the chiseled, which I might make a little bit more chiseled, like one more and kind of use that as like a decorative block there. Um, where is it? Chiseled quartz block, just one more of those. And then the regular ones I'm going to put back because I don't want the regular ones for right now. Oh, we also have the block of rock hopper. Oh, I forgot that kind of... Well, does that work with it? It kind of... Well, mm, kind of no. It's a little bit peachy looking. Like that would go with like regular terracotta and the warped block. Not so much with this. That's not quite, not quite the play. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of our glazed terracotta out of here. So we have it. We can put a bunch of that away. Um, I think 64 will probably do us crossed all right kitty come on we got to go back to the farm we got more work to do we did not grab our stone hose hello that was the other thing i came over here for you don't want to leave your hoe at home that's never good she gets angry uh and i don't want all these beet seeds i'm going to actually take two hoes because i know that they're going to get ruined oh i already had one hello it's right there in my inventory it's fine everything's fine it's the adhd today i'm sorry <laughs> The brain is not braining yet. You'll have to forgive me. All right, I'm gonna park this right here because we still need to put a border around this. And let's go ahead and start getting some farming going. I honestly don't think I probably needed the water source in the middle, but out of habit, I did it. I'll probably stick some sort of block in the middle there just so that way uh, it's not an open hole for me to fall down into because I'm talented like that and I absolutely would. Um, let's see. is it gonna last? Is it gonna last? Yes, it lasted. Excellent. And we're dead. That's fine. So basically, we're gonna have staggered. So on opposite corners will be carrots, and then the other opposite corner will be beets. Because I just like the variation of the design. I know that it's supposed to give you better yields if you put alternating crops in rows. I know. I don't care. I like just having my one plot of veggies, and I know what's there, and I just till and I plant, and I till and I plant, and all is good. All right, so beets here. And very shortly, we'll have a full farm, which will give us stuff to trade with our villagers, which is awesome. And come on. So we had talked about doing like an underwater 
bubble type system, but now I'm like, I really love the platform thing here. I don't know why, but I do. And so I'm thinking that instead of doing underwater bubbles, I might use like an underwater minecart system to move materials from place to place so that I don't have to worry about like carrying it all. Like if my inventory is full, it's okay. Cause it'll just go back and forth. Just get a hopper minecart that'll like, I, I harvest the crops, drop them into a chest and then uh, the minecart carries it over and drops it into another chest elsewhere so I can trade or puts it in my inventory or whatever. And I'm like, you know, why not? Why not do that? That would be awesome. Okay, this we're going to break four corners and we're going to put the chiseled quartz here. So that goes here just to kind of change things up a little bit. So it's not exactly, oops, not exactly the same floor. Ah, okay. It's great that I have a really OP pick, but at the same time, it really kind of sucks that I have an OP pick. Uh, okay, so this comes out this way, three blocks, and then we'll just do this, and then we'll put that fun little pattern at the end. Um, I think I'm going to close it off, though. I like the idea of having that closed off, and then we put our stuff this way. There we go, just a little pop of color, so it's not so bland and boring. It just, I don't know, I feel like it just needs a little bit of life. This is a very kind of bleh place otherwise and it needs it needs a little something all right uh let's go ahead and drop a torch out of each end i don't think it will completely stop spawns but uh if we can help it a little bit that would be good and yeah we definitely need to put something here like maybe a piece of glowstone above that or something just so that way we have light over the farm and we don't have to worry about mobs spawning there uh i think we might run out of uh quartz blocks though for this i don't think we're gonna have enough to complete the whole farm because i still want to go around the perimeter as well but we will make it work as best as possible. We can always go back to the nether and go mine more quartz. There's, there's tons of it around. And let's go ahead and do this. And oop, one more, one more. Thank you. And there. Nope. Out here. All right, cool. So we have our farm started. We still need to go out that side and we need to do two more crops. But for right now, we've got this and I'm happy with that. Um, we're going to do... Um, maybe just do like a warp block around the outside. I think that's kind of cool. Just a warp block perimeter like this. Sure. Um, what do we want to do? Yeah, I guess for right now we'll just do this. Because we have so much of this warp block. I don't know what the heck else I'm going to use it for. Uh, I might go ahead and get like orange terracotta and use that for my corner pieces and make that my corner uh, pillars for support. Um, Cause even though Minecraft allows for uh, unrealistic physics, I like the idea of, of making it work um, correctly. You know, like, so we have a supported piece. So I like that. I think I might, I kind of want to go out more with this or put something, maybe I'll put the, the chiseled quartz at that edge here, maybe or something, or maybe the, maybe the orange terracotta. I don't know, we'll put something there because I don't like the way this looks. Like this has like a weird transition, so I don't know if I like that. Eh, oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll make that work in the long run. Okay, but farm is going, so cool, that's good. Oh, I did bring some. Well, there you go. <laughs> I did not realize I brought that. Um, shoot, I'm not gonna be able to get very far with this. Oh, huh. Here I am thinking it's an actual pillar. It is not. It was literally one block. I'm smart, okay. I have... So today after stream, I have to clean the house. I have to pick up my grocery orders. I have to get everything around the house tidied and situated because tomorrow... Tomorrow is the worst day of the entire year. I have to sit down and do all my taxes. I have to do my home taxes, so like my personal taxes. I have to do my two business taxes, and I have to schedule an appointment so I can meet with my tax professional to do my business taxes. And I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> it's the worst. It's all the adulting. Why? So yeah, I'm not. I'm not a happy camper about that. I would rather not. But unfortunately, it must be done because my tax appointment, at the very least, for my personal taxes, is coming up um, very soon. It's like at the end of February. Can you do mine too? Eh, no. 
I am a, a, a completely like OCD meticulous person when it comes to record keeping. So like I have all my receipts and everything and I have all my stuff already like like I already know what I can claim and what I can't but I have to sit down and like I have this flow sheet that I, I make up that I do all my itemization and my like what's deductible and what's not and everything and it just takes me forever and I have to sit and stare at an excel spreadsheet for like an hour and it's like it's the worst and yeah boo adulting exactly welcome in moon demon glad to have you in the chat today hope you're doing well glad to see you love to catch up with you see what you've been up to since the last time we saw you all right, so Iron Farm is coming along. We're going to swap over, I think, to an Iron Hoe so that we were ready for the next set of stuff because this little stone guy is just not not cutting the mustard here, literally and figuratively. Um, and then we also need more quartz, right? Yeah, because we don't have very much quartz left. That's not really enough to do much of anything. Uh, no, I can't do it here. So we need that and this. I'm going to leave this 25 for now, just in case I need quartz for something. But that, yeah, that's, I don't think that's going to give me enough to do what I need to do here. Uh, okay, brick. Brick. Okay, so we have 3 and 64. Uh, we're going to be cutting it real close, honestly. I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to be able to finish this whole, this whole design. But we'll see. Okay, let's head back uh, over here. We're going to grab some more iron from our now working iron farm thank you very much um do we have hello again boat what what is up with the boats on this thing it's giving me so much grief uh no we still have child there so we can't do it yet Ooh, look at that we got 35 iron and 10 poppies we got actual red flowers y'all i am actually excited about that i don't know why but i am <laughs> we have a color other than green and orange in this world yay all right, so we need to put our flowers right there because yay, awesome sauce. That is the goods there. Um, we need to make an iron hoe so we can go farm up that cropland. And do, 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 do. what else do I want to do? Oh, I want to put the iron away. There we go. We Once we get a good couple of stacks of iron, we'll go trade with that armor smith to, so that we can get him... Um, get him traded up to uh, uh, master level and we can actually get some some good things there uh oh we need to sleep real quick because it's dark and it's scary and we're in the middle of the desert make sure you guys grab your cups and take a quick drink all right we're gonna read mood demon sing and take kt good morning glad to see you, my friend hope you're having a lovely sunday hope you uh got a good night's sleep doing meh actually the other day i was very tired and just not feeling it for work there was a lot of stress because very busy and not much help. And after that, I wanted to treat myself. So I got a nice snack. And while, I, while waiting for it to get ready, I checked my email because I was waiting for a response from Art College of My Dreams. If I got in and they rejected me. So yeah, that made my day even worse. One plus point, my cast is off. Uh, for, uh, is off, uh, though still a little sensitive. And I clean my room. Okay. So there was a lot to unpack there. First of all, um, why did you have a cast? Because I don't believe you've ever mentioned in chat why you had a cast, but so I'm curious about that. But good that you got that off, Wh whatever the injury was or the surgery or whatever. Excuse me, I am glad you got that off, so yay. Definitely plus one for that. Cleaning your room, big plus. Oh, you broke your foot. Ooh, ow, that hurts. Yeah, that's, that's not fun. I broke my toe a, a couple months ago, so I can definitely relate. That is not fun, especially if you are at all mobile. You broke their foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stomped on it. I was having a tantrum. It, it happens. Just don't get too close to me when I get in that, that space. Um, but yeah, cleaning your room, big plus. Uh, there's nothing like having your space be all nice and like decluttered and organized and the way you want it. It's good mental health boost. Um, snacks are good. We'll, 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 we'll add that to the list of positives. As for the art college, I am sorry. However, just because you didn't make it in this semester does not mean you're never going to make it in. Don't give up work on your other studies in the meantime you know maybe go to local community college and just kind of plug away on general education or something because there's nothing wrong with having a dual degree if you can just get a general arts you know uh, uh associates of the arts or something like that it's still good for the resume and maybe once you have that associate's degree maybe that'll help you get into the art college that you want um, sometimes the plans we have laid out require a little detour now and then and that isn't a bad thing um and in fact sometimes it can actually be to your benefit so just have a little patience keep working on yourself and your, your art skills and um, just find ways to kind of fill the time in the meantime and keep applying 
you know, perseverance does pay off. Eventually they're gonna see that you've applied for six semesters straight and maybe they'll give you a little bit better look. Just because you, get, you did not get in this semester does not mean you are not good enough. It just means this wasn't the time and that's okay. Keep going, you got this. And yes, with the great life advice, that's what I do. I do the advicing. All right, I uh, can't do my own life half the time, but I can give other people advice. <laughs> All right, kitty cat, we've got some materials. Let's go over here. Oh, we have another kitty cat. I want I want to rescue you, kitty cat. Go, go, kitty cat, go, go, kitty, kitty, get get over there. I can I can get you on that platform if you just there you go. And now it's gonna go right back in the water. Never mind. <laughs> we'll have to fish and like do the kitty cat up here soon, but not right now. So yeah, we have to go to the Nether this stream. We gotta get some glowstone. We gotta get some more quartz. And we also need to uh, go down and get some deep slate so we can use that for other builds. Alrighty, so this is good here. We can go ahead and add in our next farmland, which is this way. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As per last night, cats in the game are dumb. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh, this one that's in my boat. Basically, I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to keep it in the boat, get it tamed, and then we can get it out of the boat. I could put it on a lead, but I don't wanna deal with that right now because I do have a few leads. I think we need to build Cat Island though. I think Cat Island needs to be a thing. Like even if it's just like a little offshoot of the main island there, we need to have Cat Island. I hope I have enough uh, dirt blocks here. Otherwise, this could be a bit of a problem. Well, hell. Uh, shovel, please. We can use shovel. And then we've got... Where's my center block? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four. There's five. So one. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. There you go. And, and then you don't even give it back to me? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, fine. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna place you here. We're gonna get your buddy over here and then we're gonna come back up and we will put a water block right there. Definitely gotta get some glowstone so I don't keep falling in there or anything. Cause I'm talented like that. And okay, over on that opposite corner, we're gonna just drop off. I gotta make sure I line up correctly so that when I drop off, I go in the right spot. Because otherwise I'll be in the wrong place and I'll be really ticked that I get all the way to the top and be in the wrong place. There'd be no bueno. All right. Oh, oh, torch, please. Torch, thank you. Boop. Okay, so there's a torch there. And then we're going to do a warped block all the way around. Um, how is the music level for you guys today? Can you hear it? Is it too loud, too quiet? This is a quieter piece of music, so already it's going to be not as obvious. Oh, Moon Demon, don't, you don't have to apologize. Um, we, I, one thing I really like about our community, music's good for you, thank you, KT. One thing I really like about our community is it's a great place to be able to speak your mind and share what you're dealing with in life um, because everybody here is really supportive of that. And we're all kind of here to look out for each other and make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, there is, there's no judgment here and there's no, um, there's no animosity if someone has a lot to say. I say, we're here to talk, so let's talk. Nothing wrong with that. Alrighty, that is good. We need to hoe this up so we're ready for the next beat section. I'm hoping this iron hoe will be enough to do the whole thing, but I don't know if it will. We'll see. Oh yeah, we're good. This isn't even halfway yet. We're fine. We're good. Beautiful. Alrighty, and then I need the dirt again so we can do this next section. Oh, we gotta eat real quick. One of those delicious uh, one emerald for three carrots there. You'll love to see it. E. E. Oh heck. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it this way. There we go. <laughs> Okay, placing blocks apparently is a challenge for me today, so this could get really interesting. It's fine, we'll make it work. Okay, oh, we need to go one more out. 
there. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, and then that should be our central. Is that correct? Yes, there we go. Happy to share our experiences. Someone uh, needs to learn from my mistakes. Exactly, and that's you know that's totally my thought. Is you know we have we have a, a more mature community here. Yeah, we're gonna run out of dirt. We have a more mature community here, um, at least in terms of age, if not actual maturity. Um, and people here have a lot of really great life experience to be able to share with others. And that's one thing that I really love about this community is that people are willing to do so. Um, there's definitely not much stigma here about like sharing with others and, and helping other people out. Um, I know in some places it's, well, you know, I had to figure it out. So you figure it out. It's like, well, no, I mean, why? That's the whole point of, you know, one generation to the next is to share their knowledge so that the next generation can do even better. So why not? Also, my country schools don't work in semesters, they work in years. Okay, uh, although I don't know how long a semester usually is. Yeah, it's about, it, it's half a year usually. Um, so most say, so high school, for example, um, there's actually four semesters in, in high school. Um, and so you have, you, uh, you have like, you know, fall, winter, spring and summer, basically. They don't call it that officially, but that's basically what it is. And it's, a uh, it's, it's just a way for the teachers to kind of, you know, break grading down, break their curriculum down. So they have it in kind of blocks. And so they know, okay, like, okay, the semester's getting ready to end. I need to make sure all my papers are graded and, you know, my, my, my stuff is submitted and, uh, okay, this is the end of the semester. And I'm sorry, no, I'm thinking of college. In high school, they have quarters and two semesters. I stand corrected. I'm thinking college. I have I have a kid in college and a kid in high school and, and in junior high, and so it, it kind of throws me off sometimes. Alrighty, so fields are tilled up, ready to go. We need to go get just a little tiny bit of dirt, which we have a whole bunch of that over there. We have dirt where we are working on our villagers. So we'll get the boat, and we'll go over there. Oh, look, we've already got stuff. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need our fortune one because it will give us extra seeds which we need right now yes i recognize i have seeds back at the base and that's great but i would really like to just utilize what i have here so i don't have to go back and forth and i can compost those seeds in the future which is yay very nice okay give me that thank you we have 20 now i don't think that's going to be quite enough to finish this row but we'll see oh we had just enough nice and carrots are not grown yet. Carrots, we will have to wait until we get back. That's fine. Okay, Kitty, we have to go rescue our stuff from our little uh, villager uh, adventure the other day. So let's come on over here and let's go get all of our little platforms and all of our little roofs. We'll recollect all of our inventory or our, sorry, our, our resources that are right here. So that way we have that available because we have no dirt right now. We have no dirt to our name, which is really weird. Um, given that I have like entire storerooms full of dirt in our other hardcore world, <laughs> it feels like sacrilegious, really. All right, where are all those blocks? Okay, we're gonna let all those blocks just float up, and Kitty's gonna sit there and do their thing. Mom on a streaming bender. I know, right? I can't get enough. There was work to be done, and I must do it. How you doing today, General? Hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, okay, here we go. Like I said, we're just literally going to break everything and then just boat around and pick it all up, I think. I am going to leave this little, like, platform area right here with the torch. That way I can see, like, hey, this is where I need to get up and down first things. Um, in my country, depending on your uh, derivation level, you study longer. Like, the highest three, Havo, BWO, and Gymnasium are about five to six years and VMBO. Okay, I don't know what any of those things mean. But I see what you're saying. So depending on your area of study, you'll have longer education. I gotcha. Uh, and Star, no worries, my friend. Enjoy the D&D. Say hi to Razor for us. And I hope you guys have a wonderful game today. Have to go do classwork today, but it's okay. Oh. Mm. I got you, Moon Demon. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what those names mean, like what they're in relation to education-wise. But I see what you're saying, though. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, Kitty, we have to go on a block collecting adventure here. Blocks and torches, blocks and torches. Meet, 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 meet. We need to get that little staircase. I think that's all the blocks. Okay, blocks have been picked up. Now we gotta work on this. Kitty just pushed me off, rude. Oh, what I wouldn't give for aqua affinity right now. 
All right, so let's grab some bubbles there. And then we got to work on the stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down here. Ooh, there's some coal right there too and some gold. Okay, so we're actually going to come right down here and we're going to mine some of this stuff in a second. I got to get my doors out first. Utah, welcome back, my friend. Glad to see you again in the chat. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, we're going around collecting the materials that I left here from when we trapped our zombie villagers yesterday. And I say trapped, but really I mean, you know, rescued and liberated from their, their, their previous life. <laughs> I made things better for them. They should be happy. All right, down we go. We're going to go grab these materials. Let's put our door. Eat. Can I get in here? Thank you. Much lootage. Thank you very much. Very nice. And you know what? Not that I really need it, but I'm going to do this. Um, hello? Why, why am I swimming like that? That was weird. I'm going to put a torch right here just so I can see. Thank you. And I want to collect some of this dirt. Because again, it's here. And as Phil's always says, mine your, gravel and, mine your gravel and dirt because there's oftentimes good stuff behind it. So we're going to do exactly that. And because I need the dirt anyway, so why the heck not? Much loot. Thank you very much. And all that. And this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Scotch, welcome in. We were just waiting for you, my friends. We did nothing of importance. We were really just filling the time. So glad to see you, though. Hope you're off to a lovely start this fine Sunday. And uh, hope you and uh, Kells are doing well. The VMBO levels are people that tend to end up working more with their hands and things like that. And the upper three levels tend to go more into higher education, like doctors, lawyers, and that kind of stuff. So you have your trade education and you have your, um, like you said, more academic based careers. Totally understand. We have, we have kind of similar here in the U S in that, you know, we do have trade schools or we have people who go for, you know, higher education. Um, both are extremely important and valuable. Um, I think that a lot of times we tend to put a lot of, um, importance in the academic type things, but in reality, you know, tradespeople are monumentally important to our economy and our society. And it's important to remember that they are just as important, if not more so, honestly, than uh, your doctors and lawyers and all that. Because, you know, if you don't have electricity, folks, you can't do much of anything. So <laughs> appreciate your tradesmen. Blue versus white collar. Exactly. Also, the specific art course at the school I want to study only has 50 places a year and one third is reserved for foreign students. Well, see, there you go. This clearly has nothing to do with your ability. It's just an extremely selective program. So don't, like I said, don't let it get you down. It's, it's okay. And it's, you know, the, your, your time is not up yet. You, you will get where you need to be. I can guarantee that. All right. And it is nighttime. So we need to break this door and get the heck out of here. Kitty, where are you? Kitty is over here. Okay, Kitty, let's go. We're going to head to the farm and work on that because we just slept last night, so we're okay. We don't have to worry about that. I recognize there's something missing. Not missing, but something that was left behind. I don't care. It's probably just a dirt block or something, and it's not cause for concern for me. Well, this is really nicely lit up, actually. We should be good. What's my light level here? We get down to about three right here, but as soon as we put that glowstone on, on top, it'll be fine. I don't know yet what it has to do with, but the upcoming week, they're going to send an email and the details that I failed on. Well, there you go. Take that opportunity to have a little bit of growth and you'll be well on your way. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll use our iron hoe to finish tilling this. My goal is to get this entirely filled with croppage before the end of stream today. So beets are going to go over here and then carrots are going to go in these two corners. In fact, we can go ahead and start with this since we have those seeds right there. What else have we got? Let's see. Uh, I feel bad for the kids in Florida. I see those state funded schools losing their accreditation soon. You know, that is something that has bothered me so much. Aside from the obvious, you know, that if you refuse to teach people how things actually happened, then they just are ignorant to what actually happened. You know, history has a tendency of repeating itself um, if we don't have the opportunity to learn from our mistakes. And, you know, you're, you're, you have a whole generation of kids that are going to grow up thinking that the world is very different than what they're being shown. And they're going to think that it's okay to behave in certain ways and to interact with people in certain ways, when in reality, that's not the case. 
you know i'm not saying it's all got to be kumbaya and love one another all the time like that's not realistic there are just sometimes people that we disagree with and we don't get along with and that's okay but you know teaching bigotry and racism and just generalized hatred not the play and to pretend like things in our history didn't happen just because they're unpleasant and then maybe they make you look bad also not the play so yeah i'm i'm not a fan of a lot of what's going on in the southern states right now it's not just in florida it's it's all over the place texas especially is is on my not a fan page <laughs> uh okay so this can go here we have some more copper right here let's move that over we'll leave this here um the raw gold we can go ahead and we'll cook uh, you know forget it we'll just cook all of it right there why not that should get us all the pieces i think and then we can put our beets back in here because now we have a little bit more huzzah and like i said i recognize that i could very easily take what i have here in beetroot seeds and go plant it and have the farm going but i'm not going to worry about it uh going to make a big smelting array i mean maybe i hadn't really thought about it but maybe that'd be kind of cool uh okay so some of this cobble can go away we don't need that we can put our quartz that we put away we have quartz bricks we can put those away and we can go ahead and put some of this dirt in here actually all the dirt we don't need to carry the dirt with us um we have a chest that we put over there at the nether portal you guys can probably see it right there uh we're gonna leave some of our nether specific supplies in there like for example um our fire res potions we can put there we'll leave our buckets and our doors and our bed and things that we just don't need to take with us because hello water bucket not a lot of help in the nether uh but we can leave that there because there's no reason to take it we'll take four fire res and we'll put that in the chest all right kitty let us go we need quartz and we need glowstone and we happen to have a fortune three pick so pog champ and boop kitty's gonna stay there i don't have a boat on me though that is kind of a problem that makes me a little bit nervous um i'm gonna leave two fire res this may be the death of me you never know but i'm gonna leave the two fire res oh fishing pole that's the other thing um because um i would like to have minimal extra clutter in the inventory how's the iron farm doing i'm glad you asked since we're heading that direction we can pop in and check our villagers should be fully grown, which means we can remove the ugly dirt and just have open windows there and um, work on getting a zombie. So let's see. Yes, we have five fully grown villagers, so now this dirt can go. Our villagers are now visible. Oh, I need to put a thing there. I don't like that. The reason I do this is so that way we can put a, a zombie right here in this walkway and they can see him at all times. He does get blocked off like so. And... Um, we just need to put two pieces of glass right here, which for right now, I'll put the dirt back just to remind me that I need glass. Uh, but, and actually this wall too. So basically this whole wall will be glass. And that way then a zombie will walk around the outside and scare them and we get more iron. As of right now, we have another 19 and five. Not too shabby. It is coming along and that makes me very, very happy. Uh, I am going to, for the moment, drop this dirt here because I just don't need it. Okay, kitty. I need you to stop being pushy when I try to get in the boat. We need a boat. I have extra boats over here, so we're gonna grab those. Oh, oh, I'm glad we came this way. We need to do our axe. I just realized our axe is like half full and we need to do that. So Kitty, you chill for a second there. We have Lapis. Please be good, please be good, please be good. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that that is awesome. And we just need to put this and mending and now we have mending on all of our tools which is awesome sauce we already had mending on our bow so that's not an issue that is spectacular so we have the boat there just in case we need it if there's an enderman chasing us or if we have a hoglin that's getting angry or something not hoglin a piglin that's getting angry uh we can we can protect ourselves that way that's that's why i do that all right cool so while we're mining all that quartz up we can fix our axe. We can fix up our other tools. Um, as soon as we get a good amount of iron, we're gonna trade with our armor smith and get some diamond armor. Um, my hope is that it's something either really good or complete garbage that I can just grindstone and re-enchant with something good. Obviously protection four is the goal. Fingers crossed. 
All right, what do we got going on here? Um, quartz, quartz, quartz. We're looking for quartz. I'm trying to remember where I had some quartz tucked away. Let's go down our long tunnel here. This is the way to our nether fortress. Yes, the bad nether fortress. And welcome back, Tobinator. Thanks for letting me know. All right, what do we got here? And we got a little bit of quartz. Perfect. We're going to do this. That way I have a foot space here. I'm going to get the pick mostly healed up first, and then we'll do the rest of the things. Um, I just realized I did not bring very much netherrack with me, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. But that's okay. I think this is one of those times when I'd be willing to make a air hole out of necessity. And we can put more in there later. Because right now we just need quartz. That's all I really care about. Okay, there is a child. Hello, Hello, child. Did you just, like, randomly spawn in here? Oh, no, I wonder if this is one from before. We're going to put a torch right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I said the same thing. Okay, we are in a warp forest. So other than Endermen, we should be safe. Okay, we got quartz here. Nice. Lots and lots of quartz on this one. Oh, and some gold. We like the gold. And you know what? Here, we're going to do this. Because then we have some extra blocks to fill in. Oh, and there was some more quartz right there, too. Yay. Oh, this is awesome. Lots and lots and lots of blocks. Very cool. Okay, so that one is pretty well done. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I was like, potentially to my detriment if that little piggy gets cranky. But I don't think the babies attack. I think it's just the adults. So we should be okay. Um, hold on. Something somewhere. Oh, right here. I was like, I see something floating. There we go. All right. More quartz here. Oh, it makes me so happy to have Mending on my tools. Now they're eternal tools. I never have to make another one again if I don't want to. It's wonderful. It makes me so happy. Oh, God. There's lots of quartz here, too. Yes. Once we get diamond gear, I'll feel more comfortable with going out and exploring out in these locations. Right now, I do not, because it is scary, and I am not well protected at all. Uh, let me do this real quick. There we go. And then here, I'm just going to block that piece just because I feel like I need to... Pick is fully recharged now. Excellent. What have we got over here? This is this is big down. Not not a big dangerous down, but a big down all the same. So we need to be careful of that. Oh, hold on. Fire is in the hot bar. No, my quartz fell. Son of a nutcracker. Well, goodbye to my quartz that was on the ground. It is now dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seven's in the chat. Okay, so we need to get across there so we can get to that piece of quartz right there. We're still working on um, fixing up our axe. I'm actually kind of glad that we found that piece of lava before I started mining all this quartz because that would have made me really unhappy if I lost a bunch of it because I want it. Yeah, oh, seven. It's exactly oh, seven in the chat. Uh, okay, there we go. How much do we have? Oh, that's a good amount. We have almost four stacks of the, the quartz ore, which is great. Uh, I kind of want to go up that way. Give me one second, though. I should check a message real quick. All right. Cool. And back up. Okay, while we travel, we're going to put the axe back in the hot bar. Or in the, the, uh, in the offhand. Because safety. Um, this is weird, but I'll take it. <laughs> or, or I won't, because it won't let me. That's fine. Welcome back, Scotch. Glad to see you again. We're still continuing our, our uh, expedition to find quartz for XP. Oh, I know what this is. This is where we came out and went out to the outside. Okay, I know where we are. Um, this goes over this way. That way I know which way I need to go to get back to go home. We're going to do some more over here. We're still good, so axe back in the hot bar. Offhand, whatever the heck it's called. That place over here so I can get the green bubbles. That's that's what we're talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean. More of these little mushroom guys because they can help us back at the base. 
Also, this is so bizarre that it's growing like this. It should not be growing like this, and it, it's just odd. Just two blocks, just two random little blocks. Okay, that I don't care for, but that's okay. Oh, some more gold. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go trade this with the piggies when we get back. Uh, okay, I see a little bit more quartz right there. And, oh, hold on. Meat. Yeah. You know, what was that block? What was what block? What block are you referring to, Topinator? If you're talking about the teal block that's just here to my left, it's a warped, um, is it warped fungus or something like that? No, warped fungus is the little mushroom that I have. This stuff is, what is it called? Yes, that stuff. I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's called uh, Warped Wart Block is what that is. Uh, that's what we use for a lot of our, our uh, like pillar supports and things like that. Uh, don't really need it per se because we have a fair bit still at the base. But it's a nice little block to use for like decor purposes. Beyond that, I don't really use it a ton. What have we got here? Okay, we got a little bit more quartz over here. Still working on getting some more XP too because that's useful. Hooray for Fortune 3 and a mending pickaxe. It is wonderful. Ooh, good. Good, good, good. Let's take a second here and let's go ahead and do our gold here. Uh, actually, let's just do this. Um, gold ingots. Perfect. That's going to save us a fair bit of space in the inventory, which is good because that was really driving me nuts. Uh, okay, everybody's good. I'm okay with the durability here. We have over 1,300 on the durability there, so that's not a problem. Uh, we got some more quartz that way. We've got warp forest here. Hold on, how am I going to easily get over this way? This way. We're just going to bridge straight across like this. And up over there. And down here. I am so lost after this. Oh, glowstone. Okay, so we'll get that glowstone too. Because that was the other thing we came for. And I, I figured we were going to have to leave the area to go get it, which is okay, because we're in warped, not crimson. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. Uh, those I'm going to leave behind because they're in my way. And yeah, okay, so we just have, have to head back there. Yeah, oh, shiny. All the shiny. The shiny is good. Okay. Oh, 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 actually. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? I bet you anything. I bet you that's over by the thing. I bet that's over by the, uh, the nether. Yep. I bet you it's over by the nether fortress. I don't want to go that way. That way is scary and dangerous, and I want no part of that. We will go this way, though, so we can get down. And, okay, there's the torch where I just was. Cool. And here's our little entrance right here. Do we have any other glowstone readily available in this area? That is the question. This is a very large warped forest, actually. Okay, there's some right there, but it's I think it's over lava. Let's go see. I think it might be over lava. And I really don't want to have to waste a fire res just because. Uh, let me do this. I, I realize there's quartz right here by me, too. I will, I will probably address that here shortly. Um, I'm just trying to grab some of this wood. I can get this other piece right here. And then quartz. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, uh, let's take a torch back out here. Torch here. And, um... Okay, that was unintentional, but cool. I'll take that too, because the more quartz I can get, that means more XP, and that's what we want. That way, when we get to the point where we're doing our, our armor and things, then we're good. Is this my tunnel? This is literally my tunnel. Okay, sweet. So we're going to use this. This is how we're going to get back over here. Uh, put a torch right here. So this is this is to get back home. That saves me having to go all the way around the side of the mountain. And torch here. Okay, so now I see. Follow the torch line. Come on over here. Some more quartz. I didn't realize there was so much quartz in a warped forest. 
I don't like to come to this place very often because, you know, scary guys with long arms who try to kill me the minute I so much as glance at them with their hugs of death. And this one. Okay. I'm going to have to get rid of this and this over here because I don't want either of those. I need three more blocks to have a whole thing. Okay, cool. Now we have a whole stack. That's excellent. And torch. Where was that glowstone? Glowstone's here. And it is right over lava. Of course it is. Um, okay, I see a little bit more gold here I can get. They do have boundary issues. Yes, yes, they do. They very much have boundary issues, most definitely. Take a little bit more gold. I wonder if there is a way to get down there. Let me let me look. Let me look and see. If we can like kind of build a bridge underneath. Oh, okay. I almost almost had my cursor lined up wrong there. That would have been very bad. Um, okay. There's a little bit there. And what do we got going on right here? Okay, now this one I can get. Cool. All right, let me look at this block in case an Enderman comes. So we have 10 right now. I have given myself space to get more. Um, I want to do this so I can easily drop down and get all this stuff. Good chance I just lost that little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then, oh my god, so many Endermen right here. Gosh, I hate that. I really, really hate when there's all these Endermen floating around. Much glowstone, please. All the glowstone. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? I think I might have lost that piece. That's alright. It's fine. I'll be one more appointment to go exploring in the nether when we get full diamond. Mom, ten minutes later, goes exploring because loot... Okay, but I'm, I'm playing very safe. I meant, like, full-on going out and exploring in the nether. Oh, crap. Okay, I think we're all right. I, I basically looked at that Enderman just now, and, but I think that my cursor wasn't quite lined up with his eyes. So, hitboxes for the win. But still, oh, crap. <laughs> all right. Uh, what do I have right above me? Okay, I have some more glowstone right here. Uh, let me get this stuff. Okay, we're good. We have a stack and a bit. I would like to get two more if I can, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get over here very safely. <sighs> Every time I turn around, there's one of those dang Endermen, like, right there. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to get myself a little lower platform that I can build out on. So that I can get this stuff. Okay, what do we have now? 36. Okay, that's fine. I am I am good with that. Um, in fact, let me come in here for just a moment. So I'm in a safe spot. And we're going to turn this into glowstone. That will save some inventory space. We're going to make some quartz blocks, because that's what this is going to get used for anyway in the long run. And we can turn these into ingots, because we'll do more trades. We'll actually get more quartz from the trades as well. So there you go. Now we're inventory is a little bit tidier. We have a little bit more room for stuff. I think I'm going to leave the rest of this quartz for now, just because it's not super duper important to me at the moment. I can come out here again when I'm feeling a little bit braver and do what I got to do. Uh, okay, hold on. I need to do this. I need to get myself back up. Nope, not that. I need to get myself back up here. So it's got to be like that. And then stair here. And over. Let's grab this little mushroom guy here because we can use him. Okay, torch. And torch. And we head up that way. We'll grab this mushroom because it's right in front of me. And why not? There we go. Lady Sweet Tea, welcome into the community. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I'm very glad to have you here in the chat and as part of the family here. Feel free to jump in and start talking with folks or just lurk, listen, and watch. Whatever works for you is fine by us. We're just glad you're here and hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Um, 
We're doing some nether exploration to get glowstone and quartz. And um, we finally got mending on all of our tools today. So I was also working on getting um, some XP to like fix things up because I had no mending for a while and we definitely needed to get that going. Okay, there's the child. You know what, the child? Child lives back there now. <laughs> I don't want this kid bugging me, okay? I know it's mean, but he's just he's just got to live there now. It is what it is. Alrighty, so let's go trade with those piglins. Um, we'll go to the guys in the ground, because at the very least, they've given me soul sand, and they've given me... Yeah, go kick rocks, kid. Exactly. <laughs> they've at least given me soul sand and quartz, so that's usable, and I will, I will be happy with that. Oh, hold on. I need to drop it down to them first. Hi, guys. I got more stuff for you. Could you please give me some good loot? Thanks. That'd be super. Loot, 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 loot. I don't have a ton of inventory space, but that's all right. Okay, so that's garbage, but thanks anyway. Twitch kicked you out. Oh, I'm sorry, Tovenator. Ooh, another Soul Speed 3 Iron Boot uh, for with this one ever goes down. We're good. Uh, okay, hold on. We got to go drop some stuff off. Uh, we got too much garbage in the inventory. Uh, that. Nope, not my shovel. Hello. This and that can go away. Uh, and that will allow me a little more space. The fire charge can go. The splash potion for the moment can go right there. And we'll come back and get that. I just need this here so that I can I can get the stuff. Did I pick up the gold? No, I did not. All right, guys. Oh, there's spectral arrows too. I can't reach those. Um, hold on. And break time. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish with the, uh, the trading real quick. And then I will take my break. Just so we can finish that up and go home. Yo, what's up, guys? You got good loot? You got, you got some loot. I will take said loot. Still no... Oh, we got iron nuggets this time. I was about to say no iron nuggets, but no, I stand corrected. We got some. I will take that. I swear I thought they dropped glowstone. Why am I thinking they dropped glowstone dust? They must not because I'm not seeing it in the inventory. Okay, you guys are done? All right, thanks. Oh, we've got, we've got a book. Hold on. I got to drop some stuff because we've got a book. I don't know if it's a good book, but it's a book. So I need to check. I also see some gravel. What do we got? Soul speed two. Okay, not super helpful, but thanks guys. Alrighty, so we've got a bunch of stuff to have to take back to the house. We're gonna have to make a multiple trips because we've just got too much inventory. All this is gonna go to the house and get dropped off. That chest is empty now. So there you go. All this is going back. Um, the fire reses can sit here for the moment and Eh, I mean, honestly, most of this could probably sit here for right now, but that's okay. We'll do this. And let's put you here, and we'll do that. We'll come back for our quartz and our fire res in a minute. But first, a book is better than just leather. Oh, that's very true. That's very true. If I really wanted to, I could do a grindstone on that. However, I think we have another Soul Speed 2 book, so it wouldn't hurt to just put those two together. Because if when we get our uh, diamond boots, I could definitely put that on those diamond boots. We'll see. Alrighty, and as KT was so kind to remind me, it is break time. So we're going to take a few minutes. Everybody go stretch your legs, use the restroom, get a drink of water, maybe grab a little snack, whatever you got to do. Uh, it's self-care Sunday, so let's all do some self-care. And we'll be back in a few minutes to go put our loot away from the nether.
Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Hope you all had a wonderful break. Okay, so as I was saying before the break, we got a bunch of stuff from our piggy boys. So we're going to go put that inventory away. We got to make a couple trips in and out of the nether just because we have so much loot. I'm not complaining. I like the loot. I like the stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take that over here. Hello, kitty. And we're going to put stuff away. And then what do we need to do after this? We got the carrot farm going. We got the beet farm going. We got our iron farm working. We got quartz. We got glowstone. We need to put the glowstone to the farm. That's that's one of the things we need to do. Uh, we also need to go down and go mine for some deep slate. We definitely need deep slate. Uh, we, we are completely out. I literally have like no deep slate except for some stairs, I think. Um, but we need to go down to uh, Y59 and go do a bunch there. And then whatever other ores we find along the way, super. I will not complain. Ooh, we had some more gold too. Nice. Uh, what do we got? We got obsidian. We have a fair bit of obsidian and crying obsidian. Thanks guys for that. I do like that. Uh, book is going to go over to the chest. Did we only get 25 glowstone? I thought we had like two stacks of glowstone. No, we didn't. I'm wrong. It's because we had a full stack of glowstone dust, which turns into one glowstone. I was a little confused from it. And I'm like, wait a minute. We had more than that. But no, we didn't. I am just confused. No great surprise. I usually am. All right. Mob drops. We got the leather. Uh, let's go ahead and do that just so we have another slot available. And then nether blocks. We've got more of the warp fungus. Sorry, we can grow some warp trees, which is why I got some nylium. Awesome sauce. And um, let's see here. We've got nether brick. We can put this in here. Soul sand I don't actually have a spot for just yet because we used it all. And I actually, did we finish that farm? I think, I think we finished the farm. I, I don't remember, but I think we... I don't remember. And let's see, water bottles useful, always useful. Quartz can then go back in here because we have more quartz and we're gonna have a bunch more quartz to add to this right here. Gravel goes this chest. We have a ton of gravel, needless to say. We can do the duping with the gravel and dirt. Sorry, we get coarse dirt, which then we can hoe to turn into regular dirt, um, but we're not there yet. We can still go out and go grab some from the surrounding area and be okay. All right, Kitty, we're gonna go drop this book off over here at the enchanting area. And it's nighttime, and even though we didn't sleep, we should probably take a drink. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and what do we have? Book, book, book. There we go, there's the soul speed two. There's the soul speed two, we can put those together. We have an unbreaking one and a protection. And then this smite four respiration three. I mean, Respiration 3 would be handy when we get a diamond helmet, um, just because we do do a lot of water swimming stuff, and that would be helpful, especially like when we're doing the underwater mining. It's not a huge priority at the moment. It's kind of one of those, if we get it, cool. If we don't, okay. <laughs> oh, we did need more soul sand. Oh, we did. I need six more. Okay, cool. We'll add that in next time. Let's go here. And uh, we'll grab this stuff when we come back out again. Because I want to make sure I have enough inventory space to grab everything we need. I would hate to be like, oh, I literally just would have had enough room if I didn't pick that stupid stuff up. Okay. okay. Back in we go. Let's grab this. We can put our fire res right here. Grab our stuff there. I, apparently I always had my water bucket with me. I forgot to leave that behind. That would have been super helpful in the nether. Totally worth wasting inventory space. <laughs> Fine. All right, and then we've got our quartz, which can go there. We have our extra boat, bed, the hoe, not really necessary, but I'll take it. And then our glowstone, which we're gonna go put away. So let's go do that. Glowstone to the farm. That will brighten everything up. We should have some crops to be able to harvest. We need to harvest our sugar cane, collect what we can out of the farm. Uh, definitely got more to do. Now, can I? Aha, I can. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Nice. So one there. That gives us a lot of extra light in this area. And I'm just using my Fortune 3 pickaxe to harvest to get more drops. Eventually we will have a diamond hoe with Fortune on it, but that's not a high priority at the moment. Hey, we have a full farm on this side. Excellent. I'm going to go put this over here. We're going to ring the center spot just so that way I can put the glowstone because I need something to like put the glowstone against. So I need to find that hitbox and I can put that there. 
And then same thing on this one. I'm lined up with that. And now I can't fall in the water like a ding dong because <laughs> I've actually created space that I, uh, I have covered now and we're good. All right, cool. And let's come on over here. all of the beets so we can feed our villagers and get more villagers and we can also trade with our, our uh, carrot and beet farmer I would like to try and make another composter so we can get another one of those guys going because if we can have several farmers going at the same time that would be really nice oh hello you've grown too fabulous I'll take that I will probably build an auto composter over here somewhere, maybe like just off to the side, maybe off over here or something. Just have a quick little auto composter where basically it's just a chest at the bottom, hopper, composter, hopper, chest at the top. And you just throw all your crops that you want to compost in there and it does its thing. We could even maybe put one right here in the center, honestly. Because let me see, if I break this, how's my light level? Yeah, it's still light level four there. We could totally put one right in the center. I think that's what we're going to do because we can and why not? And we finished all the way over there. Okay, so crops are harvested here let's go harvest our pumpkins and melons which now we have silk touch on our axe yay so now we will actually harvest full melons which is awesome because it's zero loss now because normally when you break them you'll get like it's a six per broken melon you don't actually get a full melon back which i always thought was really weird i'm like breaking full melon why am i not getting a full melon in pieces but what do i know this game does what it wants Did anyone else use their sword to harvest sugarcane? I recognize I can literally just punch it, but I always use my sword, and I don't know why. I don't know what started that, but I have always done it. Very strange. I'm a weird person. <laughs> it's the only logical explanation. I'm just weird, okay? I do weird things. Okay, and did we get it all? Yes, we got it all, so let's go put this over here. Ooh, look at all those villagers. <gasps> Much villagers. Oh, we have people who need work. Okay, so we need to go make some more jobs as well. Oh, give me that back. Where was the other one? We put dirt in the iron farm. We have more dirt. So we'll go grab that. We have sugar cane growing. We can go trade melons with that one villager, with the farmer. We're going to make another composter. The goal is to get two that are carrot and beet traits or some combination of that so i'm gonna come over here and drop off some of this extra stuff i don't need like the beet seeds and the beets themselves we don't need the pumpkins yet because uh nobody buys them yet but hopefully our guy will we can put our glowstone up in here and do we have in the wood chest we do have enough to make one more composter i know i'll have to make two in the long run but for right now i just need one for my villager and that's fine uh, a cleric would also be nice. I recognize it may means I have to go over there, but if we can get some of these guys going right now, it would be really helpful. What else? We have a librarian. We have a we have all of our smiths. We have a Fletcher. Um, we don't need a shepherd because obviously wool wise, it would take a lot of string to be able to do so, and um, we don't have that available at the moment because we don't have a spider spawner. What else have we got? I think this will be good. A couple farmers and adding a stonemason and a, and a cleric. I think we'll be plenty of jobs for these guys. All right. Hello, villagers. There are many of you, and this makes me very happy. So let's see. Let's go to this farmer. Hi. Yes. I would like for you to buy many melons so I can get much emeralds. Thanks. And then we can put another farmer here. We can put cleric and we can put stonemason. All right, so this cleric, okay, I can go get him some rotten flesh. This guy, I have no clay. I don't even think I can get clay in this area, but that's okay. And what do you have? I have no, I, had to, I do not have enough to sell to you. I'm sorry. Hopefully in the, in the future I will, but I don't right now. What about you? What do you have? Okay, so we're gonna buy a bunch of helmets from this guy. And we can drop them right in here. Thanks. Okay, what else you got for me? What else? Ooh, we got we got pants. Ooh, feather falling three. Ooh, that would actually be really helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy some more helmets. I recognize again, he's not gonna sell me a whole ton or he's not gonna get a lot of XP, but 
I can get iron out of this, which we can then sell to him in the long run. We'll be back. What do you got? Uh, okay, uh, I don't have, I, I don't have. So that, that doesn't help me either. Melons away uh, to the boat. I wanna, I wanna drag you out. I don't like you being in here. It makes me very nervous because I feel like I might errantly punch a villager and then I would die. And I don't wanna die. Okay, so let's grab ores. There's that. So we're gonna trade that with our worker there. I will get more ingots in a minute when I get more of that. Let's go to the iron farm and see what we've got. We can also pick up that dirt that I left there. I forgot the glass, but that's okay. We'll come back to that in a minute. What's up, villagers? Not a ton. A stack and a bit. Not great. But that's okay. You gotta start somewhere, right? Here, you want a flower? It's pretty. All right, so he does three now. That levels him up very nicely, and me too. Thanks. All right, so prot three, not terrible. I think I would probably end up grind doing these on the grindstone and then re-enchanting. I think that would be just the logical thing to do here. And yeah, I, I think that's that's the play. All right, what do you have? Uh, I don't like your weaponsmith option. How about your toolsmith option? That's kind of garbage as well. Here. A gift to you. Thanks. So we'll go stone picks. We will throw that away. Give me my emeralds back, please. Thank you. Uh, where are you? Where, where? Oh, thank you. Okay, he takes emeralds too. That's good. And we can put the stone picks in here. So we have those available again. Uh, I can buy one more pick from you, right? Yeah, one more pick from you. Just so that way we have an even number. Because you know me, I can't have an, an uneven number. I could also drop that iron home in there if I really wanted to. Oh my gosh. Here I am, like, waiting for that to smelt. I'm so silly. Sometimes I just... Yeah. All right. Well, while we wait for... No. Thank you. While we wait for that to get going, I'm going to go ahead and offload a lot of my inventory. We're going to head down to the mines, and we're going to get some stuff going here. Because I have... Um, again, I need some deep slate. And if we can find more iron and stuff, that would be awesome. And we will go from there. So let's go wood. We can put this boat over here. And we are going to go to tools and drop off this hoe because we don't need this underground. Um, this iron pick, I kind of want to just smelt down and get rid of it because I don't really feel the need to keep it anymore. It's next to nothing. All right, so we do have some, uh, some cobble if we need it. Otherwise, we have our necessary stuff. And where is my cave? It's all the way over there. I mean, yeah, okay, kitty, we're going to go on a we're, we're going to go on a field trip. Let's go. We're going to go down to the mine. Um, I did do a little bit of opening up of our mine shaft here. I don't know if you guys, uh, if I showed you that on the last stream. But basically what I did is I just made this a three block wide space. And that gave me access to all these uh, different stone options that were in the side, which was really nice. Um, and then over here, I did some mining uh, to try and find some more iron. I did find a little bit, not a ton. But I would like to continue to do more mining. I do need more diorite too. We'll probably grab some of that while we're here. And then we have our geode, of course. Hello, pretty geode. We never did finish doing this. I thought we did, but we did not. That's okay. We're gonna get the pretty purple blocks. That's purple. And it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get rid of all of the extra. That sound makes me so happy. It is so pretty. Oh, I just broke the thing. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, well, that's okay. We unearthed another one, so it's fine. We just gotta be more careful with these. <laughs> Got a little wild with the pick. Sorry. My bad. Okay, good. We still have inventory space, so I can mine all of this out. Okay, so this is a hot mess cluster here. We're going to have to, I mean, look, all that. So we're going to have to basically pick and choose what's going to give us the easiest access to these things while still allowing for maximum return. Because right now, we literally can't get to like half those crystals. And there's really no point in that. Calcite's a fun block. All right, here we go. Let's put a torch in this corner. 
And let's continue with this. I always like to have singular budding geodes. So like, for example, right here, these two are gonna grow into each other. This is blocking. And then same thing over here. I think I would just get rid of this. And then now this one can get all the way around. And it makes so much more sense than having the, the line of them when you're losing half of it anyway because there's just too much around. Uh, kind of the same thing here. Okay, and then I'm going to put a torch over here as well. There we go. Beautiful. So, yeah, all this, this is just a big mess of a cluster here. These two guys are going to grow into each other, but only on this one side. We'll still have all the way around, so we could probably leave that and be okay. please if I could thank you I am always so nervous when I have like a major efficiency pick and I'm like ripping through geodes because you hit that calcite and it's like a hot knife through butter and it's like oh rip to that uh, budding crystal that I was trying to save <laughs> sorry so we'll delete that one and that will go all the way around that one can go all the way around Yeah, and like I said, this area here is a hot mess. So let me clear all this away. Oop, we missed a guy over here. Lock, please. Thank you. BD, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. So glad to see you in the chat. How have you been? How's life and school and all that good stuff? Geos are probably the only source of calcite. Uh, in this world, absolutely. Yeah, because you can get them on mountain ranges now after I think 18.2. Uh, but um, as far as, as this world goes, yeah, definitely. That's, that's pretty much going to be our only option. Uh, we're going to do this. And that okay so that's going to give us a fair bit uh actually let's get rid of that too okay so i think that's good that gives us a few crystals there that are totally free and clear we don't have to worry about that this is actually a really good size geo too i've had a few in the past where they're just these itty bitty little things and you know you might get six budding crystals in the whole thing but this is a really good size one this this i'm happy with for sure and it gives us a lot of the um uh, what's it called? The smooth quartz, or sorry, not smooth quartz, smooth, smooth basalt is what I'm thinking. Sorry. My brain is thinking quartz for some reason and I don't know why. And let's go ahead and just drop a torch way up there at the top. I'm hoping I don't end up running into a cave while I do this because that does happen sometimes where the back of the geode is like exposed in a cave and inevitably it's full of mobs and then I die, which I don't want to do because we've come pretty far on this world. That can go, and we've got a whole bunch of just regular pretty blocks. All right, if we can get a wandering trader with uh, bamboo, I would be so happy because then I can have scaffolding. I don't use scaffolding very often, but this would be one of those times when it'd be really handy. Today's got a rocky start. The dishwasher is leaking water. We've got the water to it turned off, but it's kitchen parkour until further notice. Oh no, that's a bummer. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you guys were able to get that fixed quickly. It's very frustrating when appliances go out. It's not something I would recommend to anyone, especially if you're a homeowner who has to deal with it. It's a little easier if you're uh, renting, but if, if you're having to do it, it's it's not fun. Okay, I'm just pushing this all back just so it's a little more open. Oh, we missed some here. Alrighty. And then that is more mine over here where we went back behind it. in that corner even though we don't necessarily need it just yet uh oh i really hope that wasn't an important one because that like i said ripped right through that calcite without me even being able to see what it was all right 
think I might make a quick chest in here just to offload and have some tidy storage here. Let's go one, two, three, four. Yep, we'll do a double chest just because reasons. And we'll actually probably end up leaving this chest here because in the long run, we're going to be coming in here and farming out the crystals anyway. So we might as well. Might as well just leave ourselves the space. Makes sense to me. All right, now you guys, we're going to get rid of all this. One of the perks of living in a dorm, I don't have to deal with it much. Just got to tell residents like, yeah, exactly. Someone else gets to deal with it. It's not necessarily your problem. It's your problem in that you have to report it. But as far as the maintenance and fixing of it, you can hand that right off to somebody else. It's like, I've done my part. I've told you. Now I'm going to go about my life. Thanks. Um, torches, please. Thank you. There we go. Let's grab all that. I want to grab that copper out too, because we can use that for builds. Okie dokie. Let's see, but there is still so much that I haven't even touched yet here. I've just been working on this one side and there's just so much more. I mean, it's great, but at the same time, it's like, oh my God, this is going to take me a minute to go through. I didn't didn't mean to do that. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a torch up in that side. Because reasons. Oh, hello. Yes, please. We will take the gold. Thank you very much. Gold is lovely. That is really a big, it is a, a very large geode, which is wonderful. Um, it will definitely prove very beneficial in the long run because we'll get lots of pretty blocks. Um, it is just a lot to have to mine out right now is all. So I will definitely have to uh, sit and work on that. If I could get some uh, some coal right now, that would be really helpful because uh, I could set up a furnace and start smelting some of this stone so that way then I could put back what I've dug out so it doesn't look like cobble in the corners because I really hate that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm kind of out of luck on that because I have very minimal uh, coal and I don't want to waste what I have in case I need to make more torches. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's cut through here. Open that up. I almost broke that one, but luckily didn't. Ooh, and some lapis. Nice. We can use that. That's more XP. go henry ford 2003 welcome into the community hope you're having a lovely sunday glad to have you in the chat feel free to uh hop in and start talking with folks or just lurk listen and watch whatever you're comfortable with and makes you happy it's fine by us we're just glad you're here and hope you're having a fantastic sunday all right so this was our over to our spawner i think i think that's where we went to our spawner could be wrong but i think so let's just open this up there's really no point in having this here because oh, this was one of our strip mines over here and it went right past the geode okay i see what i did here i am now caught up as to what i had done previously past me and, and current me had to have a discussion and go what the heck were you doing i i don't know it's weird and let's just go ahead and do this so i can get up here and then we'll mine that out and we'll do that there we go uh, spawner was a, a bit ago. Yes, the spawner was a minute ago. We need to get back and, and get that done, actually. We need to turn that into a farm. And let's go ahead and do that. I need another wandering trader to spawn, because if we could get a wandering trader to spawn, we might be able to get kelp and bamboo and other things that we need, which would be really, really nice. And so far, they have not shown up, and I'm kind of annoyed. They only come around when I have no way to trade with them or when I don't actually need anything from them. Then they're like, well, hello, it's been, you know, 26 seconds since the last time I was here. Would you like to buy this other thing that you don't actually need right now? Go away, me alone. <laughs> um, okay, that can go. And then we'll just mine up here. Yes, I'm mining straight up in the underground. It's perfectly safe. Hey, Scotch, welcome back. Glad to see you again, my friend. We are mining out the geode that we have underneath our base because uh, it's one of the many things on my to-do list that just keeps kind of getting pushed to the wayside. And today I said, damn it, we're going to do this. We're going to get this thing done. And so we are. 
And hey, any ores we collect along the way, just the icing on the cake. Kind of busy and I am okay with that. Okay, well, so there you go. As long as it's a productive busy and you're you're feeling good about it, that's all that matters. Because I like those days too, when I'm like, I am being productive, I'm getting stuff done. It is not a bad thing. I am down for that. It's, it's when you're like, oh my God, I have too much to do and I'm overwhelmed or like, you don't want to be doing the thing you need to be doing. And so then it's very tedious and monotonous and you just are not happy about it. That's a bummer. Okay, there's that. And Henry Ford, hello. I love the little bees. Very cute. All right, so let's see here. I want to continue getting this side of the geode mined out. Trying to get to the edge of it is kind of difficult though. Uh, that might be it right there. Okay, yes. So that is the edge of the geode over here. Uh, let's see. Up up here. Parkour! Look at me with my mad parkour skills. It's amazing. So how are you doing today, Henry? Uh, today here in our community, it's self-care Sunday. So question of the day unofficially is what is your self-care idea for the day? What what can you do for yourself to help give yourself a good start to your week or good end to your week if that's how you view the calendar? Everyone has kind of a different opinion on if it's the beginning or the end of the week. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what, what you like to do for self-care. And uh, in, will you have the option to, to execute that today? Because if so, awesome. For me, self-care today was getting on the treadmill and, and putting in some serious uh, high step in uh, activity and broke a good sweat and felt really amazing afterwards. That was my self-care today. And there will be more later. Um, I wanna try to just do some tidying around the house and kind of get my space, you know, the way I want it and everything. Cause I have a thing about clutter, kind of drives me crazy. If you know me IRL, you know, I get really antsy with clutter. And so today, some of my self-care is to be is going to be organizing and purging and getting like charity boxes ready to go and all that good stuff. And it, it's always nice. I always feel really good afterwards. Did we get all of our blocks? I think we got most of them. There might be a few hanging out right up here. Let me do this. Did we get everybody? And maybe I don't see any actively. Oh yeah, no, we're good. Okay, we got all the, all the blocks. Um, puts this answer somewhere else. <laughs> Just body recovery after five days in a row at work. Oh, I feel that. I feel those long weeks. So yes, definitely a good rest is always a good idea. You reminded me I need to do that. You need to do what? Rest or just self-care? Because yes, self-care always. Always important. All right, so we've got this here. Those are some of our ores. And then we got that. This is just random block. Uh, let's go ahead and make a few more torches here. We don't need that many right now, but I hate to have that few in my inventory. It makes me very nervous. You have money and Tuesday off. Oh, uh, charity boxes and declutter. Always a good idea. You know, spring spring's coming up and it's a great time to kind of go through your winter stuff and be like, okay, what did I actually use this winter? What did I not? What am I never going to use again? Um, you know, doing that a couple times a year is, is a great way to kind of just, you know, get rid of the unnecessary extras in life and, and maybe bless someone <clears throat> who needs it and, and is doing without. So that's what I always like to do a couple times a year, usually for me about three or four times a year. Honestly, I do it. All right. I'm just trying to kind of clear away here so I can get to stuff a little easier. It's not easy, um, because the way I have stuff here. And let's just do this and I'll put a torch back here. Okay. That's good. It's kind of dark here. I don't like that. I want to smelt that stuff. Uh, I think I'm just going to do it and say the heck with it. I have enough to make a furnace, so I might as well. You know, you, you hate this keyboard. Is it, is it a keyboard that does not cooperate well? Um, okay. I'm going to waste eight. I hate, I hate to waste eight, but I'm going to waste eight because I, I just need the extra. I need it. I need it. I will use that and oh, we can put this way. Okay. So this cluster mass here, um, which way I want to kind of approach it from this side so I can see what I've got. Oh, I, iPad keyboard is janky. Yeah. Unfortunately, the iPad keyboard is not spectacular. It's not really responsive uh, as well as it could be and should be. And it, it can be very frustrating. So I feel that. 
All right, what do we got here? We've got a whole bunch of budding crystals all around here to break away. Uh, that one's gonna go, so that way, again, we have a gap where they can actually spawn. And let's break these, so that way everything can kind of fall. I'm gonna have to pillar up a little bit more to get to these guys, because it's just too much. Oh, okay, this also, we're gonna break that one. And then that's good. Can I, I need, I need to get over there. Could you please let me get over there so I can get to my blocks, please, thank you. No, they're like, oh, oh, that's okay. It was a high one anyway. Find me out there was going to be a pain in the butt, so it's fine if I broke one. Well, the solid thing here is we definitely are going to have a significant amount of amethyst between what we're mining and then what is going to grow. So we will not have to worry about amethyst in this world. We could do full builds out of amethyst if we really, really wanted to. Uh, my plan is to change out our mob farm so that it's got amethyst, tinted, uh, tinted glass walls, and also tinted glass drop shoot so I can see the mobs falling down because it's so cool to do that. And I, I enjoy watching their misery. Not gonna lie. Makes me feel joy. <clears throat> yes, and all the ting, ting, ting. I love, I love mining amethyst. It is like one of my favorite sounds in the game. Running back and forth across the amethyst, across the amethyst is always so nice. It actually, like, actively makes me happy. Okay, that's as far as I can reach here. So let's get rid of this. I'm gonna have to, like, mine up in that corner to get to anything more, I think. And, okay, we're gonna temporarily put a block here just so I can get up and grab all this stuff up here. Oh, cool. We needed some diorite anyway, so we'll take advantage of that being here. Oh, 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 whoops. I thought I had torches in my hand. I do not. I had blocks. That's okay. Mine that also. It falls, and we will grab all that. Okie dokie. We almost got the top part of this geode mined out. Ooh, iron. Sweet. We'll take that, because we can use that to trade with our villagers. I know we have an iron farm, but it's still slow producing because we haven't gotten a zombie yet. I would like to try to do that before in a stream today, but I don't know if we'll have time. What with all of the mining we're doing here. I'll get those here in a second. This is actually a very good find, because like I said, I need more diorite. Diorite is a block I don't have very much of at the moment. And if I can uh, find a good resource for it uh, and not have to go hunting, all the better. And it looks like this whole area here has a ton, which is awesome sauce. Uh, we're gonna put a torch right there. I have got to get over there. And I also have to get up here to mine this iron out. Was it really just one piece of iron? Oh, heck. Well, that's a bummer. That does not spark joy. <laughs> Minecraft ASMR, right? That and placing Deep Slate. Yeah, Deep Slate is also another pleasant block. I would agree with you on that. Okay, so let's go ahead, hop over here. Let's grab all these guys. And can I make this without falling down? Yes, excellent. Okay, and let's just finish this. We're gonna mine up from the other side to get the rest of this, but I just wanna get to this point. there. Come on, give me those last few. Just give me, give me, give me that block. Darn it. That's fine. Whatever. Rude. Okay, and then we'll do this side as well. Hopefully the stuff that I've already broken doesn't despawn. That would really kind of suck. It would serve me right for being greedy and not going to get my stuff like I'm supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna break these back because I'm gonna like kind of work my way down to get to stuff. Uh, okay. Eat. Oh, phew. I was like, I'm not going to make it, but I did, so it's okay. And we'll mine all that away. Okay. And I'll grab that. And then we'll come over this way and grab as many blocks as we can from this direction. Mine you away. Okay. I think we're good. I think we got the majority of the high blocks. Uh, now we just got to grab these ones off to the side here. That's all those. And then everything else is pretty... Oh! Well, I was about to say, I think I can get to everything else, but then I fell, so never mind. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to go ahead and put all these away, just so that we're not going around and not picking blocks up. And I just realized I still have copper in my inventory. I need to pull that out, too, because I don't need to be holding on to that. All right, give me all these blocks, please. Thank you. 
Do we have any more floaters? Yes, I see floaters. So we're gonna grab those. Who needs ankles? I know, right? Ankles totally overrated. They're just in the way most of the time, really. Let's be honest. Okay, was this where I had the stuff? It might have been. Yes, I think that was where I had those floating cobble. And, oh, so I see some right here. Parkour there. Parkour there again. Who needs ankles? It's fine. And I think we got pretty much all the other important stuff. If we miss a few little blocks here and there, it's okay. It's not ideal, but I can live. And I'm going to use this to climb up to get to the rest of this area here. Ooh, and we've got some dirt. We will probably take that out here in a second. Okay, can I reach all this? That is a good question. Because I had those little blocks right over there on the side that I was having a hard time getting to. So I think it would be better if I just mine up and go get them. Rather than trying to reach. Because inevitably I will probably fall. Because I am a klutz. As much in the game as I am IRL. And I would probably hurt myself really badly okay do we have any other floaters i see no oh there's some right there wait that was a, a lucky little thing because i didn't realize i was gonna <laughs> land the right way there but we're fine okay cool so that's all that i'm gonna mine up right here so that way i can get these uh, little bits of uh smooth salt right here okay seriously fine i will mine up two more blocks so i can get those whatever and same thing with that and then back down i know i need to eat i will do that in one second all right and give blocks please and quick eat okay so we've mined out a little over half of this geo actually about two-thirds of this geo we've mined out and we've kind of cleaned it up where we have minimal loss in terms of like uh overlapping faces um this little section here will only get one out of the three, but we still have all the other blocks around the perimeter, so it's worth keeping all that. Um, all these here up top, same thing. They do not overlap, so those are good. I have a few in here that overlap we'll have to work on, and then same thing right here. We'll have to work on those. But we've, we've made some really good headway in clearing out the stuff in here. Let's go ahead and drop off all this. Actually, let's put our ores down here so that way we can keep them organized. And then this random die right there. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, actually, yeah, I don't need that. Look at all that. That is some good loop right there. And we're going to have more in the long run. This should be done, right? Done enough to pull it. We're going to go ahead and fill in the floor here so I don't keep falling in these holes. And we're just going to make a nice little perimeter rise here. And this I'm going to mine back so we can get around a little easier. Same thing with this little guy. Okay, now we just got a nice little corner. Uh, thank you, BD, for the lurk. I appreciate that. And let's see. I'm going to push this back here. Trying to make everything, like I said, as tidy as possible. No extra extraneous nonsense that's not necessary. Uh, this too can go back. This is all part of our little uh, mining adventure here. So we're just pushing this all back so I can see everything. There we go. Nice. That works. I really love this. <gasps> Ooh, cool. I almost didn't see it, but we definitely need that. There's not a ton, but there's enough that we should get a good little chunk of it with our Fortune 3. Yay. You love to see it. Oof, good stuff, good stuff. And then I am just gonna leave an air pocket. I know, it's sacrilegious and we don't do that here, but today I'm gonna, just because, why not? Right, now we're gonna finish mining this lower here, all the way around. So really hoping to find some more ores in with this, but unfortunately we're just not finding a ton other than that gold and copper and things that we found. So, bummer there. Where are we? We're at 10. We're a little low for iron. Iron's usually like 11 to 14, from what I understand. Um, so, we might find a little bit in the upper areas, like how we found that little bit in the ceiling, but I don't think we're going to find any significant veins in here. 
and of course, as always, iron is what we need the most in this world, and it's the least thing that we get, or the least common thing that we get. Got that hole lower there. Oh, hello. Oh, a little purple block hanging out down there in the hole I didn't see. I'm glad we came back for you. I would have missed you, and that would have been very sad. Because that's a pretty block, and we want to keep pretty blocks. And we'll throw a torch in that corner. No mob spawning in my pretty block geode uh, location, please. This is my pretty block space. No monsters. Not allowed. one here? Probably not, because I have one right there. We'll go up another layer before I add another torch. Mm. Mm, I think I'm going to get rid of that one, and then we'll have that nice gap there. Oh, see, we've got two here. Yeah. Get rid of that guy. Don't need you. And of course, they're stuck up on top. That is probably the most frustrating thing about mining out of geode is things always kind of get trapped and it's like, oh, now I have to climb up there and get you out. But hey, more gold, I'll take that. With our fortune pick, it's a good little amount. All right, what do we got going on here? Um. Let's mine out this little back section and I'll throw a torch in the middle and that'll light up this back wall pretty much as much as we're gonna need. So like right here, perfect, let me do this. And, oh, no, I don't need that there, I need it down here. Okay, cool, and then I had some floating. Yep, okay, so we gotta get up over here and I need to finish mining this little section out here. All right, cool. And then I need to get up there to get the rest of the stuff. Not with stone, though, because we didn't cook that for nothing. <laughs> didn't cook it to waste it. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I did that, but okay. I thought I was just going to, like, sweep by it and grab it, but all right, cool. I'll take that. That was, that was a short jump. <laughs> I missed it. That's okay. Okay, it shows me I have a block somewhere. Where is the block? I don't see it. Oh, right there. There's the block. Okay, let me come on up over here. We're going to grab the rest of that. We will keep putting these away in here. 34 gold. That's not too shabby. If we can just get the iron, I would be so happy. Um, okay, hold on. I want to push that back, and then we'll do this. We'll continue to kind of cut up underneath it. Because then we have no blocks for it to fall onto. here to grab and then we've got a whole bunch of calcite up underneath here oops I took a stone out but I didn't actually mean to oh well that's all right um, I don't think I can reach any further up here unfortunately I have to kind of 
I'm gonna have to like scaffold out so I can get this last little bit. We're gonna have to make a new chest. I just realized we actually have no spot for uh, geode materials just yet. So we're gonna have to make a whole chest for this when we get back. So we can, uh, we can add that to the inventory. Okay, we got some more copper there. Oh, dang it. Was that like three now that I've broken? At least. That's, that's not what you love to see. You want to preserve the pretty blocks, not to destroy them. Can I reach? Yes, I can reach. Uh, I can almost reach that one, but not quite. Ooh, we got some iron. Ooh, there, it's multiple iron. Sweet. Okay, so we'll go up over there. We'll get the rest of that. That's good. And let's grab this copper since we're here. Holy cow, this thing just keeps going up. This is a massive geode. It really, really is. I didn't think it was going to be this large of a geode when we found it. I could see it was good sized, but I didn't know how good sized it was. And just heads up for the mods, because I know they're going to be telling me here in a second. Dang it, I just broke another one. Um, hey Zoe, welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday, my friend. Uh, glad to have you in the chat, as always. Um, for the mods that are going to be telling me here shortly that I need to take a break. Yes, I realize. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish mine this geo, and then we'll, we'll wrap up the stream from there. Um, because this was pretty much the tail end of what I wanted to get accomplished today. And um, once this is done, I think we're, we're good to wrap things up. So I will probably just push through until we finish this, uh, because that'll be the end of my day. Alright, so that mess we got to get cleaned up here in a second, but let's finish doing the ceiling here. Working on a game for a server I'm in right now. Oh, cool! Would you like to tell us about it? Because I always love hearing about your, your creative projects. They're always really neat. Mm, give me this, please. Thank you. Okay, I think that's as far as I can get here. Let's go ahead and break these ones out. And I'm going to pillar up and do more over here in a sec, I think. Uh, actually, let's do this real quick. Get rid of that. And then we'll come over here and grab all this. Finish tearing this out here. Um, break that one. Oh, no, I don't want to break that. I almost broke that. That would have been very bad, because that was not what I was intending to do. Ah! It's fine. Everything's fine. It's just my ankles. Rip them. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up our clutter, and then I'll climb back up and get the rest of the stuff. Anyway, so it's a big escape room. Um, is it a, like, puzzle? Like, you have to use like buttons to open doors so you can get to the next section kind of escape room or is it just a like say you have to get redstone in the right order or something like, like how do you how do you execute the the escape i guess is what i'm trying to ask all right so that's fine i've got some blocks here i've got another one up there that i can't really get to i'll get that in a minute Okay, break my ankles. Oh, I didn't even get the block. Broke my ankles, did not even get the darn block. What the heck? Rude. All right, let me do this. We'll drop everybody off here. Uh, okay, that's my stone. We'll put that right here. I am very rapidly running out of room. Okay, let's get up here now so I can do this side. I'm going to come up right here, because I think this will put me up right between some geos. Yes, okay, perfect. That's good. Where was... Oh, it was way up there. Uh, I can't go any further. Uh, let's mine out the ceiling here. And the iron, mine that out. Oh, that's a good bit of iron. Cool. We'll do that, and that will all fall. Okay, good. Torch here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. You go through a portal into the build and you go up the bubble elevator into the main room and there are two stairs at each corner going to another room, which is a puzzle to get a key. And the keys go to four doors at the top of the build. I can send screenshots. First of all, wow, that's a lot to unpack. And yes, please, I would love to see it. I think that would be so cool. I want so badly to do an escape room. Like that of any activity that there is to do, I want to do an escape room because I love puzzles. I love strategic planning and, and strategic um, evaluation of things. Um, I'm very much a critical thinker kind of person and I love puzzles and things like that. So yeah, I would, I would love to do an escape room. And if it's Minecraft, all the better because who doesn't love block game? Uh, okay, so there's my guys there. We're going to break that. And we're going to do this and come across here. And we'll get these guys. And then we'll do this. Oh, okay. Well, that was unintentional, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm just going to break these uppers. Because I don't want to have to deal with going all the way up into the ceiling to get these things. So we're just going to do that. It's fine. And we'll put a torch right there at that spot. I want to get over there to break those, but I don't think I'm close enough. Oh, nope. Uh, okay. So I just have to mine up in that corner and then we're done. Okay. So let's do this here. Mine down, come back across. Okay. So I've got one over there. I got to go get, but I will do that from up here. Oh, somehow we missed some calcite over in that corner. So I need to go down to get that. What else have we got here? Anything else floating here? We just have that corner and this over here. And of course the blocks that are over there. Somehow I missed some of that. That's okay. Okay, now we're going to parkour with our epic parkour skills. As we all know, are total trash, but that's okay. Okay, all the blocks. Give me blocks, give me blocks, lots of blocks. All the blocks, thank you very much. And that one. Okay, cool. There's still more up there. Where are they? They're all up over there, so that's fine. We'll go back and get those in a sec. Where is going to be the easiest place? Probably right here. Uh, okay, I need to go up again. Okay, that's that. Uh, I have block over there, though, I have to go rescue. So we got to kind of pillar out this way. And you go up. Oop, and I missed a piece here. I need that over there. Uh, I'll take you. That's fine. And where can I go like this? Uh, please, please, please give, give block. Give block. Thank you. That's fine. If the cobble falls on other weird stuff, I don't really care about that. I can deal with that. Cobble is an expendable block as far as I'm concerned. Do we need it? Yes, but will I die without it? No. I mean, I might if I'm falling into lava. But... Uh, sent in the build channel. Perfect. I will check that out right after stream because that sounds super exciting. Okay, so we just have that little corner there. We have a few more blocks to grab. I'm also going to mine these, these crystals because I'm right here and I might as well. Since I'm here, let's grab this and that. And nope, those are not fully grown yet. You are though. I'll take you. Any others up high before I go? No, everybody's down low. All right, let's go grab all this good stuff. Do I have room? I do have room. Excellent. Give me this. I'm going to block here. And it shows I have another one somewhere over here. I have to get up so I can see it. Oh, right here. All right, the map is now clear. We just have this corner over here to do. And then everything is mined out. Yes. Moving to mobile to go pick up groceries. How fun. I love my grocery pickup time. It's like, ooh, what did I get? I know I just ordered it, but ooh, look, I got stuff. And I didn't have to shop for it. All the better. I actually have to do that later today. I have a pickup at like 3 p.m., I think, from Walmart. Love me my Walmart shopping. What can I say? Okay, I'm just going to mine that away because I made an oops and I didn't actually mean to. So we're going to make it look until in uh, like it was intentional. Okay. So there we go, guys. We've got a nice mined out geode. All of our, oh, except for this. This little budding cluster over here is a mess and we need to clean this up. Um, but all of our crystals are now situated to where um, they don't interfere too much with each other. And this one, I kind of don't want to do this. And that'll give us those two. They only have this face that's overlapping. Otherwise, everything else is free and clear. Um, same thing here, all free surfaces, which is great. 
I think we're good. That that works for me. Let's do that. And it's gonna be a lot to do in survival. Oh, I'm sure. I am I am certain that it would be. I was watching Captain Sparkles. Um Cap Captain Sparkles? Yeah, Captain Sparkles. All of a sudden I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Um, he did a video of an escape room that took five hours. Like the, the video itself was five hours, which was insane. All right, so how much do we get? We got 13 pieces of iron. Not stellar, but not horrible. We also got 34 gold. That's nice. Uh, we got a ton of, um, of, of building blocks. We got a ton of just regular blocks. We will come back and offload all this stuff in a little bit because I need to make a chest for it. I do not have a chest for all of this and I need one. So let's go ahead. Let's break this. It's 9.50 p.m. We're going to go ahead and sleep real quick because we haven't done so in a bit. I don't want to go to the surface and have to deal with phantoms of being up there. All right. We are going to take a drink because we slept. Um, I will mine that out. I will use that to fix my pick because it needs it desperately. And let's see, what else? What else can we do? There's really not much else. I'm going to put that stone in the chest so that way we have it. Um, this furnace, I don't have room for. So we'll leave the furnace and this chest for right now. We'll come back and make a couple trips and just get all these blocks and we'll have a whole chest for all that good stuff. You should watch the, the hermits play Blood on the Clock Tower. What is that? Do you have links? If so, please drop them over in the Just Stream chat because now I'm intrigued as to what that is. Excuse me, it sounds terrifying, but I'm totally down to check it out. All right, the hands are starting to get unhappy, so I think we're just going to let this finish smelting. Who is streaming right now? What? Which of our friends? Um, our friend Goose is streaming, playing some Portal. So if you guys want to watch a non-Minecraft stream, that's where I would go. Who else is doing the hardcore Minecraft right now? Let's see. Early days in hardcore, short hardcore. I think we've seen that person before. That, that one sounds familiar. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to zombie dwarf. That is an interesting one. Let me take a look at this person. I, I want to see what this person's doing. Um, see y'all in Discord. And yes, Scott, we will definitely see you over in the Discord. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and for all the new folks who have joined recently, either today or previously, or if you have been here a while and you just haven't done so yet, please feel free to check out our community Discord. I dropped the link there in the chat. It's a great place to um, visit with people in our community outside of stream. It's a great opportunity to keep up on stream uh, schedule changes, bonus streams. Every once in a while I'll do with like a Discord stream, like if I'm just grinding materials or say if I'm working on a build project that's just kind of monotonous, like, oh, I have to play 62,000 stone or whatever. I'll usually do a Discord stream. People can jump into the chat and they can turn on their mics and we just have like a live active chat, which is a ton of fun. And I actually kind of like it better than me having to read what you guys are typing because there's a delay. And so it's like, you're, you're right in the conversation and it's a lot of fun. But yeah, definitely if you haven't already, please check out that uh, Discord link and check out our community. It's it's an equally supportive and welcoming place just like here on, on our uh, stream chat and uh, most of the same people. So there you go. Alrighty, so let me take a look and see what this person is doing over here. It looks like they're doing some early game grind. And, oh, they've looted some chests because I see some diamonds. I see some um, horse armor and things like that. This person has 11 followers, so I think that would be a lot of fun to just show up, drop them some love, maybe drop them some follows, help boost this community yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the last one was fantastic. When we did that Discord stream the last time, it was a blast. All right, so here is our raid. Make sure you copy paste that raid message that KTU so kindly shared in the chat. So when we arrive at Kelvin's uh, stream, we can make sure to show some love and support. And hey, if you're so inclined, drop them a follow. They only have 11 followers right now. So how fun would that be if every single person that joined the raid gave him a follow? Literally would have more than double his follower count, which as a small streamer, I can tell you that was a huge boost for me when that kind of stuff happened. So yeah. If you like what you see, no, give them a follow. Show some love and support. Uh, additionally, as you go out into the world and start your week, make sure you do something kind for someone. Put a little love and kindness out and help make someone's day better. Maybe even if it's just your day. Because if you're in a better mood, that energy spreads. Okay? Kindness matters, people. The little things add up. So do something kind. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will catch you guys on Tuesday morning stream. Bye-bye. Kitchen.